Oh, how I hate nut grass. Man. That's corn trying to come up inside. Onions on the far side. Got some beans right in here. This is my plastic uh, regular garden woven fabric experiment. Uh, you can see my broccoli and brush sprouts, some red romaine lettuce or leaf lettuce and There's still my uh, turnip greens bolting, seeding, and I'm going to get going to get some uh, seed off of them. You see all them little pods there, man. That's going to be a ton. You can see my potatoes here. Man, I tell you what. The potatoes are coming on. I'm ready for some of them, man. I love me some taters. My peas are trying over there. Got them about a week or so ago, I guess. Anyway, I got a mess here, I tell you. I've not been cleaning up nothing. I've just been throwing stuff. <laughs> so... There is, there is no wind this afternoon. I guess I ought to be spraying fruit trees, but it's probably too late in the evening. Man, I'll tell you what, that's some big broccoli. And, man. There's that red, red romaine. Then I got some mustard greens in the middle. And then, of course, I got onions. I'll always have onions. There's tomatoes. Those two biggest ones I've had, of course, the longest. Uh, but, anyway. Check out the broccoli heads right there. That one's getting pretty good size. It's probably, I don't know, five inches at least. Then I got some little bitty heads coming in here. I wish I liked that stuff, but I don't. But my bunch does. Wife and kids. My wife makes some kind of, I don't know what you call it. Has a... Uh, crust pizza crust on the bottom and then you put the broccoli in there and tomatoes and cheese and all that other stuff and i don't like it but man you can see that middle one you can see that middle one from here but uh I'm going to try and do my tomato plants this way this year, which I'm just tying them up, you know. And I'm trying to keep them pruned at, on the bottom. I hadn't been able to really prove one way or the other if that is effective or not. Now i got some more onions right there. Then i put out my marigolds. 
I put this out a while ago. I picked it up today. Never heard of it. German Queen heirloom tomato. Indeterminate type. So we'll try it. I wasn't going to make this this long, but no oh well. I am super so proud of my onions, though. These were about as big as a pencil lead. I don't know if you remember seeing my video on that, but I mean, they wouldn't hardly hold up. And the same thing here. But now they're, they're coming on. And, uh, of course, I come from seed. So I'm going to start some probably, I don't know, October, November. But these right here, they're getting a little bigger. Oh, man, I love them. I love them. I love the old purple onion, too, the most. I don't even remember what kind they are. I think they're all sweet onions, pretty sure. Then I have peanuts coming up in volunteers from last year. There's something right there. Man, this nutgrass is killing me. I don't know how I'm going to... I just don't think this stuff will hold it back. I don't know, may be wrong, but I'm going to leave that on there. It's been on there three or four days, and I'm going to leave it on there about ten days, I think, and pull it up and see what it looks like. And I also heard this right here is the best mole trap going. So I bought one of them today. Uh, I'll show you the box here in a minute. But uh, I'm not sure it's a good mole hole right there, but I think it is, maybe. I get out here watering in the summer, and I run a uh, trough alongside my plants, and I lay the hose in there, and it'll go five or six feet, and then it will just start uh, running off down in the hole. That's a work in progress there. Uh, da, 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 da. All right, one more thing. Hang in there with me. Oh, oh man, check out these blackberries. I'm kind of proud of them. Big old new cane. Oh, man. This one done broke. Well, I got to find out what to do about it. This was awesome. This thing was probably seven foot tall. Oh, well, I may have to cut it right there where it broke. Um, yeah. Mole trap. This is what one of my old buddies at the base told me it was the best trap going. I think it was 19.99 at TSC. These are some of my disasters. I got to get this bundle planted. These are uh, eggplants, white eggplants. My old buddy Russell Woods said that was the best eggplant, so we're gonna try it. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. I gotta. I gotta go. Well, just one more. I don't know what I put where, but I got some crawdads in there. I'm trying. I got a bundle of wild peach or wild plum branches. I, I tied them up, and I'm hoping that the crawdads go in there and hide. And, and uh, one of my buddies gave me some catfish food and 
I give them some of that a little bit and then I, every once in a while I throw them some chicken pellets, laying pellets. And there's a critters there. There's my halfway uh, compost pile. It was hot, you know, and everything. Oh man, I got something growing up right in the middle. Can y'all see that? <laughs> I don't know what it is. Oh. Oh yeah. I put some pinto beans in a bowl to put a little water in it and then run the water off. And they sprouted real good. And I was meaning to plant them, but I never did. So I threw them in here, and that's what that is. That's a pinto bean plant. Okay. Anyway, it's looking better out here, guys. I know it's a little messy right now. Maybe by the time I do another update there, well, maybe uh, I can get some stuff picked up. But anyway, uh... I'll check you later. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and share, and all that good stuff. Later on, guys. I'm sitting in Dad's swing, chilling. <laughs> I think I'm about ready to go in the house.